and we are up at our field that we rent from a farmer this is the place that we come to to enjoy ourselves relax spend a bit of time with nature over there we have whisper and jack this is our big bayonet rooster or turkey it's a transylvanian naked neck um, you see some of the girls have got little bare spots on their backs from too much shagging from the roosters unfortunately that's what they do one jumps on the other jumps on the other jumps on they all leave their bloody marks poor little girls anyway uh, this is where we come and we enjoy ourselves and relax um, up here we have Bambi just peeping around the corner Bambi's a little bit lame at the moment recovering from a oh we have another rooster trying to attack me okay thinks my shoes are food no they're not this is Bambi say hello Bambi how are you boy hey that's Bambi hey hello sweetheart yeah that's my boy hey hey oh is that nice <laughs> You like that, don't you? Yes. Eh, you like that. And we have some more chickens running to join us. Mm -hmm. It's quite funny, some of the roosters, the youngsters. We've got a whole bunch of youngsters that we've just led out into the field to join everyone. Shame, you can see Bambi's still limping. But his foot's improving every day, so that's a good sign. But as I was saying, some of the youngsters, the roosters, young roosters, I think it's a funny thing to attack my legs as I'm walking and uh, it's quite a chuckle but never mind and here comes Whisper to say hello hey Whisper you come say hello boy hey hello darling how's my boy hmm? hello yeah you see the stripe down his back I don't know if you can see it yeah Gets it from his mum. Hey, big boy. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Everybody's waiting for their food now. So this is Whisper, Jack's young boy. And Jack is his dad over there. aren't you hmm? yes so um, Jack when I got him had such a heavy worm burden that he had liver damage and uh, to nurse him back to health at a very young age but whatever scared him as a, as a foal being caught he uh, he never he never got over it and he even of me is extremely wary um, any sudden movements and phew, he's gone the only way I can get to touch him and scratch him and love him is if he's under a uh, halter and then he's a very good boy this year are the little youngsters we incubated we keep them locked up until they're a much larger size because we have a number of hawks that live up in that tree up there 
So rather than risk them being taken on a... Ah, no, 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 no. We won't have mutual grooming on my back. Thank you very much. That's little whisper. Demanding attention. Sorry. Demanding attention. Aren't you, boy? Hey? You have a tendency to follow me around like a lovesick puppy, don't you? Yeah. Little bugger. Hey? He's still completely intact. He's a little stallion. Um, I need to get him chopped as soon as possible because he creates havoc over the fences with the mares next door. And we've had a number of occasions where he's broken out. We've had to go and fetch him and he's created a nuisance of himself. And he's jumped at the fences despite how high they are. He just brings them down and does his own thing. And as you can see, we're not the neatest of people around <laughs> in our field. I've got a bit of rag water I've got to go dig out on the weekend and uh, get myself sorted. Over here we've got the, um, the sheds where they sleep, shelters. They're not stables, they're just shelters. And the chicken house and chicken run. They've all gone in because they're expecting their food now. So half are in, half are out. And uh, so I really, really need to spend some time up here and tidy up because with all the winds and the bad weather we've had, everything's gone flying and all topsy-turvy and all mucky and messy and untidy. So really, really, really need to sort it out. Um, our neighbours are there. We've got these huge, enormous, ginormous trees that give off lovely shade across the field. The only danger is, with the slightest winds, they have a tendency to threaten repeat repeatedly to come down and it is so frightening because if they came down, they would come down directly over the shed the way the wind blows constantly and they would just come crashing down on the shelters and it terrifies me that I'd lose my baby ponies, my little guys, if they were in the shelters. It scares me. Hmm? Yeah, that scares mommy, doesn't it? Eh? Not that you guys use your shelters very much, your typical little buggers that prefer to stand out in the rain. Eh? Yeah, there we go. Hmm? Good boy. So Jax? Hey Jax, Jax Boo, you ignoring me? Hey, are you ignoring me? Yeah, this is your usual want. Hey, say hello. Hello. You yeah, say hello to the camera. Say hello to everyone. Hey, no? You say fuck you. All right. It's usually what you do. Hey. He's very stocky. But he's only tiny. I mean, he at the shoulder, he's about, I stand to correction on this, I haven't measured him for a long time, but he's about 33, 34 inches most at the shoulder. Um, but as I say, I haven't measured him for years. And his son is actually smaller. Uh, he's looking a little bit overweight, but he's more pony than chetty. You can see by the, the nice sleek legs. Um, he's, he's got more pony in him than he has Shetland. His mother was a Shetland cross something or other. Um, and Jack, of course, is New Forest pony crossed with chetty, I think. So, yeah. They're both beautiful. And Bambi over there. You're waiting for your dinner, aren't you, sweetheart? Eh? Well, that's basically it. This is where we come and we relax up here when we want to get away from it all. Um, obviously, we were up here every day seeing to the animals. But really got to kick our butts and get rid of this nettle field that we're running at the moment. And the uh, ragwort as well. It's got to come down come out. I dig it up every year. Uh, I mean I dig it up by the roots and I leave great big gaping holes in the field where I've dug them up. But every year there seems to be more and more and more ragwort and I just don't know where it's coming from because it's so annoying. And I can't use chemicals because the lady we rent from who lives in the cottage down there 
um, is chemically sensitized uh, and has dreadful reactions to any form of chemicals so we don't use chemicals up at the field at all not even fertilizers um, so we've got a number of weeds and I mean if you look at the at the grasses oh, here come the chickens they're gonna pick the phone don't you dare pick that um, it's lots of weed in amongst the grass but it really needs sorting out. We're going to have to speak to the farmer and see if we can get it sorted at some point. But that's it basically. Just a quick show and tell of where we go and where we enjoy ourselves and get back to nature with the animals. Cheers. <laughs>